guys, I'm back with another Dharma video today. I feel like this is going to be a good one. I feel like the stranger in this video is going to be the either the gray-haired guy or the blonde girl. It's probably going to be the gray-haired guy. If it's not, cool. If you see my arm, don't mind me. I just got a blood test today, so I'm just leaving that on for a little bit. So, so if you see that, I'm fine. This is going to be called Rude Stranger. Once it loads and opens up. Rude Stranger judges pregnant 51-year-old lady and is based on a true story, apparently. Damn. Instantly regrets it. So honestly, from what I know about pregnancy and women, is that over 40, it's like high risk or something to have a baby. Like it's, it's like more, um, more chance of death, more chance of a disability, more chance of like autism or something like that, or like deformities or something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's like over 40, 30 to 40 is like 20, 20 to 30 is like your prime time. 30 to 40, I've never really heard too much about. I think it's still okay, but like, I, I, obviously as you age more and more, then it gets a little bit more high risk, I believe. I believe like 40 plus is like when it's like high risk considered. Anything under that, I think it's okay still. Like roughly, I'm not too sure. Again, correct, correct, correct me if I'm wrong, because I obviously have not, I do not, I do not know this, right? But uh, basically it's based on a true story from my knowledge here and Rude Stranger judges pregnant 51 year old lady. So 51, I would definitely consider it high risk, but let's see the story first before judging, because you gotta read the book before judging the cover. So let's go, guys. Based on a true story. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, good, how are you? Doing well. Um, table for three, please. Three and a half. Oh, congratulations! That's so amazing. Um, give me just one moment, please. Oh my God! Watch where you're going. Oh my God. Relax. So was it? Was it? Oh, of course, it's this Karen bitch. Bump into you. God. Aren't you a little old to be pregnant? What are you, 60? Mom, is everything okay? Uh, everything's fine, baby. I'm 51, actually. Look, I know I'm no spring chicken, but I'm trying my best get in the situation. Right. Yeah, 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 see, you're in another right. situation. Your table is ready. You're in another That's situation, so shut, up. so shut up, Karen. Karen. So irresponsible to be pregnant at that age. Karen. Like that. Like that Donna was about to beat her face in. So. Listen the to the story we first. The you to our favorite cafe is to give you a special surprise. Oh, is she that's pregnant? Exciting. What is it? The doctor told us the baby's gender. <laughs> oh my goodness. Our baby's gender? Wait, what? Wait, is she pregnant? What is it? A boy or a girl? I'm gonna find out. I'm kind of frozen on me there for a second, sorry. Did you just twist this right now? Yeah. Just twist it. I think that's just a guy. Blue. Pink. It's a girl! Oh my goodness. This is ridiculous! You shouldn't even be celebrating this pregnancy. Do you even know the risk factors involved for someone your age? Well, I'm very aware, actually. Chill. And I'm quite happy. My doctors and I, we have Oh, it doesn't matter. You're putting that baby in danger and risking complications to it. You're so selfish. Jesus. Excuse me? You Fight really her. shouldn't judge people before you get to know them. You see? Uh, it, it's, it's fine, baby. Yeah, so she was about to explain. Okay. Go away, Karen. No one asked you, Karen. Oh. Let me pause for a second. Okay, so I get it, like the risk factors and stuff like that, but you don't know the story. And apparently, according to her and the doctor, she's healthy to have a baby, so maybe it's still low, even though she's 51, the risk may still be low because she's healthy. If she was unhealthy and, and, and 51 and probably had all these like health conditions, then okay. Of course, it'd make it more high risk, but you know, like even me, if, if I see a pregnant like, like 51 year old, I'm not gonna go up to her and say, what the fuck? Like, no, of course not. Like, I'm kind of thinking in my head, like, how old is she, you know what I mean? But it's like, that's not your business. That's not, uh, that's not you. It's not your body. It's not your baby. I get it. The same thing with abortion. I don't agree, agree with abortion because, again, it's not my child. It's not my baby at all. But I feel bad because, like, if someone's having unprotected sex and then you have a baby and stuff like that and, 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 and then you abort it because you're too young or some shit, that's selfish because I don't care if you're young. Why are you having sex then? Why are you having unprotected sex? Why are you having sex at all without knowing the risks or the complications that may come with it? Pregnancy. You know what I mean? So it's like, don't do it then, or be safe at least, or try your best to be safe, I don't know. You know what I mean? Just don't, I don't know. I just don't understand pe people sometimes, and they're so selfish, and, like, not her. Karen over here, because I guarantee you her name's Karen. 
like, I'll, like, watch her call someone. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, police. Yeah, this is Karen. Like, w like right when someone named Karen calls the police, just hang up. And at that point, I just hang up. It's like, oh, it's just, it, it's just another Karen. It's okay. She's just, she's complaining about some some stupid shit. That's the that's the bad thing about it being named Karen. I swear, if anybody actually named Karen calls the cops saying hi, my name's Karen, I just hang up the phone. <laughs> like, I like her. I I'm like you're a Karen. You're probably may and maybe I would listen to what she says first just to make sure. But like if she's like, my neighbor's being stupid. Yeah, hang up. I don't know. Anyways, again, I get it. The risk factors and all that. But again, listen to the story before you judge the cover. So without uh, without any other things to say, let's go, guys. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm fine. fine. I'm just, just a bit nauseous as well. Is she in labor? Yeah. She's in labor. She's about to pop. She's in labor, isn't she? Oh, my God. Oh, that's disgusting. Relax. She's coughing. I don't feel weird. You think? There's a reason why women your age should not be pregnant. Either oh way, you get God. nauseous. Doesn't matter how old you are, you get nauseous when, when you're pregnant. That's what happens. Oh, you should be having a grandchild, not a child. <sighs> Jesus, this chick. What's taking her so long? Like she's sick. That's what happens when you're pregnant. Your mom is in there throwing up. Okay. I told her that you're the one that should be pregnant, not her. You just don't understand. Oh, I understand, all right. Your mom is a selfish old lady, and on top of that, she's a terrible, terrible mom. And you know that how? No. Fight her right now. My Fight mom her right now. is the least selfish person I know. You see? Here, here comes the story. Let's listen to for it. For years, my husband and I have dreamed of having a baby. I'm, 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 but I'm each thinking. time I'd get pregnant, I'd end up having a miscarriage. And losing the baby. I've gone through multiple surgeries, several in vitro transfers, and nothing has ever worked. I can't begin to tell you how difficult mentally and physically this so journey has been. Her mom's having it because the, the daughter can't. And that's when my mom decided to step in. She couldn't bear to see us suffer any longer. So at the age of 51, my mom became a surrogate for our child. So we could finally have our dream of being parents come true. So you see, she's carrying my daughter because I can't get pregnant. That's one of the most unselfish things that anyone could ever do. And she's doing it for me because she's the best mom in the world. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry. Oh, shut up, no you're not. I no one no cares. Idea. Go away, no one cares about you. It's Go not home. me. You should be apologizing to. Yeah, get out, Karen. Is uh, everything alright? Oh, look, ma'am. I am not so very sorry for everything I said to you. What you're doing for your daughter? It's so wonderful. I should have never judged you before getting to know you. Mm-hmm. You, uh, you should know that yourself being an old lady. Of course. Thank you so much. Say hello to your mommy, little boy. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh. <laughs> I can't believe he's finally here. She's I wish it was an actual baby that I actually showed. But I can guarantee it was a doll or it's a towel or something. We're bringing her into this world. We couldn't have done this without you. You are so welcome, honey. Oh. Mommy loves you so much, baby girl. Oh, so does daddy. Oh, and so does grandma. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can tell it's a fake baby. Obviously, I, I get it, you know. Do we love him? 50. Pause. Hold on, it's not letting me see what the hell is. I paused it on the wrong thing. 
Frig. Hold on. Oh, I'm having issues. I can't even fucking read it. Okay, I'm just gonna back this up because honestly I'm pissed now that I can't read that. Hold on. Sorry. So Julie loving 51 gave birth to be beautiful baby Briar on November 2nd for her 29 year old daughter Brianna Lockwood. Don't judge someone before you know their story. Yeah, see, before you know their story. Because again, it's, it's, it's easy for me to be like, oh my god, you're 51, why do you have a child? Like, anybody can say that. Anybody. You know? So it's like, again, like I said, don't judge before you read the story. Read the story first. Hear the story first, and, and then you'll know the thing. Now, honestly, I don't know what the sur surrogate is, surrogate, uh, that, that word means. I assume it's carrying the daughter, but it's like, how does that work? Like, how does that, you know, hold on a second, let me see. A type of pregnancy in which a woman carries and gives birth to a baby for a person who is not able to have children. In a, sur a surrogate pregnancy, eggs from the woman who will carry the baby or from an egg donor are fertilized with sperm from a sperm donor to make an embryo. Because I was kind of thinking, I was like, wait, how is she having her baby when she can't get pregnant? So what, did the boyfriend have sex with the mom and then, and then she became pregnant? Like, how does that work? So I did not, that's kind of what I was thinking. I was like, wait, isn't that kind of gross? But now I kind of, okay, so now that makes sense. Eggs from the woman who will carry the baby or from an egg donor are fertilized with sperm. So like what, just some random, like from a sperm bank or something? Like a sperm donor bank or something like that? I'm assuming that's what that means. So basically a different carrier. So basically someone else carries the baby because you can't. So again, see, like, see what I mean? I could have judged that so hard too without knowing the whole story. And that's a true story too, which is insane. You gotta love these true st story ones, you know? You gotta love them. Um, but yeah. See? There it is. You, you never know what someone's going through. You never know what they're doing. You never know what's happening. So don't judge until you know the full story. Ask first. If you just assume, you're, you're, you're probably wrong. You might be wrong. You might make a fool of yourself, which Karen over here did, so... That's why I don't do that. You gotta learn the story first. So with that being said, that's gonna be it for this video. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Be sure to comment your thoughts down below, because I know I know you got some. Be sure to like the video and be sure to comment or sorry, be sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications as well. So that you know, so you do not miss any videos that I do upload. I upload daily at noon. There are usually always um, Dharma videos, which they will be up until at least mid-June, probably into July or August, depending on how many Dharma videos I'm behind on. And we'll see what happens after that. But that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.